Liverpool's pursuit of Naby Keita has been well documented this summer, with two bids of 50 million and 57 million rejected. With RB Leipzig repeatedly saying that the star man is off limits, Jurgen Klopp may be forced to switch targets. So here are five players he may want to consider. Kerem Deme by scintillating from went under the radar, much like his team Hoffenheim, as RB Leipzig and the likes of Timo Werner, Emil Forsberg and of course Naby Keita stole their thunder. But in many ways he was just as impressive. His form earned him a call up to the German national team who he helped win the Confederations Cup and he even scored the opener versus Cameroon in the group stage. Like Keita, Deme Bayer is a box to box midfielder although with more slanted towards being an attacker whilst Keita is more defensive. If you compare the two, there's little between them. Both have an eye for goal, although Deme Bayer has better range, check his goal versus Bayern Munich and Cameroon as proof. Both are good providers although Keita links to play better, whilst Deme Bayer relies more on set pieces, an area Liverpool lacking coincidentally. Both are very two-footed, although Keita is more unpredictable in terms of his agility, acceleration and all-round reading of the game, but Deme Bayer is the much, much bigger player, again something Liverpool lacking. Whilst I would say Keita suits Liverpool needs more, he is essentially an upgrade, well a significant upgrade on what they already have. Deme Bayer offers an option Liverpool do not have already. Fun fact, Deme Bayer was part of Dortmund's reserve team and Jurgen Klopp invited him to join the first team, but the player rejected it to leave on free to Hamburg. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain is perhaps the most realistic option on this list, as Liverpool have been linked extensively with him since January. Given that he's unhappy about his status at Arsenal and Liverpool's options on the wing, with Keita clearly the number one target, I've always found this link weird. However, as the go-to guy if the Keita deal can't go through, I totally understand it. He offers the same level of dynamism as Keita and has shown encouraging signs of determination for the first time in his career, which endeared him to the Arsenal faithful. As alluded to earlier, he's versatile, capable of playing on both wings and even as a wing-back. His defensive stats are low, but considering how stint at wing-back went well, he could potentially adapt, especially given his work rate. People are always talking about Ox's latent ability and there's few better at Klopp in that department. Regardless, a midfield trio of Ox, Coutinho and Henderson does seem a tad gone ho And a fee of 30 million a little steep, especially for an injury prone player. Bayern Munich have confirmed that AC Milan have made contact to sign Renato Sanchez. What can Liverpool offer that probably Milan and definitely Bayern can't? First team football. Why should they do it? He's perhaps the most technical player on this list and exhibits a degree of composure that no one else on this list quite has either. Combined with his stocky physique which uses to shield the ball when dribbling and that muscle his opponent when tackling, he has shades of Clarence Seedorf in him. Ultimate proof of his potential is winning the year 2016 Young Player of the Tournament and 2016 Golden Boy Awards. Unfortunately, since then he has done precious little to justify a team like Liverpool who have options signing him for more or less the same fee Bayern got him for. 27.5 million. Oh, and by the way, he's only scored three goals in his career. Every team has that one guy who's continuously linked with their club for eons, and just when it looks as though it might happen, they go elsewhere in a cruel twist of fate. Arsenal had it with David Villa back in the day, Man United with Nico Gaetan, Tottenham with Stuart Downing, and Liverpool with Mateo Kovacic. Javier Zanetti called him the best youngster he's seen in his 19 years at Inter besides Brazilian Ronaldo. Mega praise. Watching Kovacic, it's easy to see why. He's the slickest passer on this list and a fine dribbler to boot. Blessed with a fine engine and rugged physique, along with Keita, he's the most refined player to be mentioned here as he's equally capable of playing as a playmaker as he would be as a box-to-box -box midfielder. The problem is his consistency. Aside from his last season at Inter, he has rarely put together a sequence of matches where he has dominated. This isn't his fault as such. Inter Milan were a complete mess when he was there, a toxic environment for youngsters developing and Real Madrid have world class players in each position. The result means even if he controls the game like he did versus Deportivo, he'll get dropped with no remorse. I'm sure in due time he will succeed Luka Modric at club and national level, but given Madrid have just signed Spanish one kid Dani Caballos, I wouldn't blame Kovacic and get an itchy feet. If Klopp can't get Keita, Kovacic just might be the lack for lack replacement. Last but not least, if none of the aforementioned are doable or wanted, just develop Marco Gruic. Liverpool fans were hopelessly optimistic after positive pre-season which saw him score a fantastic looping header in the 4-0 victory over Barcelona. Injuries curtailed his progress during the season, but he's shown quality in cameos. He showed more in 10 minutes when he smacked the bar in a 0-0 draw for Southampton 
than Wijnaldum did who had less touches than Simon Mignolet. One thing is for sure, Grujic knows where the back of the net is. In wrapping up, I just have to say that none of these players suit Liverpool more than Naby Keita and in terms of potential, all except Sanchez and Grujic are older than Keita. I think Liverpool should do what it takes to get Keita. I'm normally not a fan of spending crazy sums when a cheap alternative is around, but in this case it's worth it. But of course, if that's who don't want to sell and they definitely don't need to sell, who from the five players mentioned would you like to see? Demebay, Chamberlain, Renato Sanchez, Kovacic or even Gruic? Have your say in the comment section and don't forget to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notification of future uploads. Till next time, ciao.